It was a public hol Monday holiday in Perth and I was in the newsroom in Channel 7 and uh, suddenly the building started to shake. Now no one had ever experienced, I don't think anyone in the newsroom at that stage had ever experienced an earthquake. I had, I grew up with earthquakes and so uh, they said what the hell is this? where there was some construction giant out the back shaking the building. I said, mate, this is an earthquake. And uh, I retrieved, suggested people they stand under the doorways, which was one always a time-honoured way of stuff started falling. The door frame would stand up or under the heaviest desk that you could find. Uh, a lot of people retreated straight out into the grounds of Channel 7, which were pretty open. And what happened, uh, I personally, my belief is the shake was so good, had it lasted another 30 seconds, it would have shaken Perth down. And that was verified to some extent by the debris around the city, the spire off the top of St Mary's Cathedral went crashing down, lots of chunks of... Uh, Concrete and brickwork and masonry were falling all over the city, but because it was a holiday, there was no one in the city, so no one lost their lives. But in the country, near the happy centre at Meckering, there had really been a massive uh, uh, effect. Uh, the earth had risen in part and it became a famous picture of uh, the two levels. I think that probably in parts it was up to five or six feet difference between the, where the the uh, plate, the Darling plate had lifted and the remainder of the uh, western side of the, um, of the earth. Uh, Meckering was destroyed, uh, York, all those towns were uh, severely damaged and we sent a couple of news teams straight out to the area. But of course there was one major problem, all communications were cut, phone lines were down, we, Perth couldn't even communicate with the eastern states on that particular day. And uh, cutting a long story short, yeah, I'm sure you're going to see the earthquake footage. You've seen it before and you see it again. Michael Gale got back with his footage. I can't remember who the cameraman was with him at the time. And uh, the teams kept coming back with material which we put to air in, uh, in specials that night. And on it went for several days because the next day people went to work and the over aftershock started and uh, people were racing into the streets in St George's Terrace. Beckering earthquake was a very big event, biggest earthquake recorded in Western Australia. Since then there's been others at do in the same locality generally, and uh, people are far more, even though it's a long time ago, they're a lot more conscious of earthquakes today than they were in those days. And it also um, had a marked effect on how architects uh, designed their buildings for earthquake stress and so forth. And indeed, there was more to follow on that morning of October the 14th, 1968. The wheat belt town of Meckering was practically devastated. Few houses escaped damage. A baby was asleep in this house when the quake began. The baby was rescued unhurt by its mother, although bricks had fallen into the pram. Sixteen people were admitted to nearby Cunderdin Hospital with fractures and lacerations. St Peter's Anglican Church was flattened. Meckering's only hotel and a cooperative store were among the many other buildings demolished. Meckering resembled a bombed town with buildings wrecked or badly damaged within a five-mile radius. So affected Perth and there was a great deal of debris falling onto the St George's Terrace and the whole building here at Channel 7 was shaking. Had it gone another 30 seconds, it may have shaken Perth down. It happens again, God help us.